I'm Cullen from CullensABCs.com and I have a project for you. It's making an Easter basket. So I'm going to just go ahead and get started and then you can um, follow along and see what supplies you'll need. So what you'll need is a white paper bag. You can use um, any color that you'd like. Brown is fine. What goes on white just shows up really good. That's why I use white. And these are just lunch bags and I just found a a bunch of them at Target. Just just a whole bunch of lunch bags at Target. And what you can do is um, cut off a little bit off the top because this would make a really long basket. And we want just kind of a short basket. So you can have your child do this. Just draw a line across there and then they follow the line. If, they're, if it's crooked, it's okay. It's just how they want to make it, which is just fine. So you can use just regular scissors to cut a straight line, or you can use some decorative scissors also. I'm going to use decorative scissors, and I'm just going to cut a little bit off of here so the basket's just a little bit shorter. There we go. And then when you open it up, you'll see what I'm talking about. So now this is going to be their basket. Okay? So now you'd want to decorate it. And you can decorate it however you'd like. You can put stickers on it. You can just put out crayons and markers and they can color on top of it. Whatever you'd like to do. I'm going to use paint and cookie cutters. Now you can look around your house. You'll probably have some cookie cutters somewhere. And I just put some paint in a, a shallow dish like this. And just use a little bit of paint. If you use a lot of paint, then when they put it on their bag, it'll be very gloppy. And the um, picture may not show up as well. So just a little bit of paint, smear it around. And then whatever cookie cutters you have at home. Um, here's a flower, a tulip, um, an umbrella, a star. They could be Easter cookie cutters or they could be whatever kind of cookie cutter your child chooses and wants to use. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the circle one in the paint so you can see it has a little bit of paint on it. And then I'm going to press it down on top of the bag and then you'll see that the print comes out. I'll do another one. Let me do the um, flower. And you just can kind of see if it gets all the paint on it. See like that. And then push it down on the bag. And then sometimes it comes out all the way and then sometimes it doesn't, but that's okay. So if your child wants to decorate the bag, they can decorate the whole front side. They could also decorate the back side too if you want to do um, a two-part project where you start it at one time, it dries, and then you come back to it. You could do that as well. So then after you do that, you'll, of course, let that dry. And then when you're done and it's dried... You could put some Easter grass inside, and then you'll need a handle for your basket. So this is also something your child can do as well. They can cut out their handle. So any construction paper handle, you can use printer paper, whatever you have around the house, use that. And then they'll just cut a piece. They can cut this as well. You can draw the line, or you can just let them cut it. And then what you'll do is take your basket and you can staple it or tape it to the inside of your basket like that. And then put grass inside and then you can go on an Easter egg hunt together. It's super fun. Thank you. Bye.